Here's my day so far. Going on a road trip in an ice cream truck. Yes, that's the thing. Getting separated from the family. And what else? Oh, that's right. We're crying like a bunch of hippies. I guess things can get worse, can they? Well, to fully understand why we're doing this, well, we gotta go all the way back. Way back! And yes, this is where our story begins. So sit tight, because this is definitely going to take a while. Uh, that's okay, Mom. You could have dropped me back there. Nonsense. There's a spot right by the curb. Ugh. let myself out please you want to look your best for your girlfriend don't you mom there's Rachel now bye mom don't forget Susie's party after kiss <laughs> hey Tommy new look <laughs> <sighs> and of all the fanciest choice of places out there, what do you think this one? Well, it's cheaper. And greener. And don't forget, we usually come here almost every often. Yeah. And you know, I wish some dope was going on throughout rather this town or somewhere else. Well, I heard there is a big boy parade. Oh, really? There is? Yeah, but the only issue is, it's not around here! Ah. Wow, Susie! Being chosen to sing in the Gracie's Day Parade in New York City! This is big! Bigger than big! This is as big as Dummy Bear's head from last year's parade! Sometimes I can't believe it! I am representing the American Cheese Council! <sighs> Did you know cheese represents 0.02% of our gross national product? No. Really? Fascinating. Do you know that, Angelica? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was just admiring my cuticles. Aren't they lovely? <gasps> Oops! You did that on purpose. Did what? Only, I wish you guys could all come to New York to cheer me on. New York City? That sure would take the sting out of narrowly missing the chance to sing in the parade. Narrowly? You didn't even make it past the first audition. Ow! Were you talking to me? Might as well forget New York. No way that's happening. Take the kids to New York City? Why not? We're not using the plane tickets the parade gave us. But it still wouldn't cover all of us going. What if it was just the moms and kids? According to the new Lipschitz book, Tweens from Angel to Enemy, this could be our last chance to get close to our adorable children before they turn into sulking, blood-sucking ciphers. Well, if it's a bonding experience you want, why fly? Why not see the country the way I did, from the road? That's a great idea, Betty. We could drive cross-country. You in, Charlotte? Huh, are you kidding? I haven't driven across country since I was a college gal. Well, guys, looks like we got company. You don't say. Guess what? We just decided to take all of you to New York City to see Susie sing! <laughs> What's going on? We're all going to see the Gracie Day Parade. No way. That's wicked awesome. So how are we getting there? First class airfare? Staying at Twinkie Hotels? Better. We're taking an RV. Oh, for Pete's sake! That is ridiculous! And my boy is watching! Sorry, son. I better go my slow. Get out of here! Just you and your mothers for a whole week! Wicked. Well, this isn't gonna go well. Yeah, you said it! Ah, you got that right, Sly. Yep, so good luck with your road trip. This is gonna take a while to get used to. And believe me, it really is. I'm gonna get a lot of used to. Just like how I got used to this. <laughs> so, 
Good luck. Uh, uh, yeah! to understand the pioneer spirit. Ah, just thinking, guys. How awesome will be having that thing? Yeah, yeah. It will be the time of our lives. But, you know, things can really change. Yeah. Okay, show's over. Let's get rolling. We have an early start tomorrow. And I mean early. Oh, dear. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. You tell me. Look at the others. I should have not came to this road trip. I could have been sleeping watching Looney Tunes right now. <laughs> that was Betty, everyone. She's on her way with the RV right now. Whew. Hope it's going to be a good one. If not, she owes me big time. Miss you. Me too. Tommy! Did you go to the little boy's room? We're leaving. Oh, that's one way. <laughs> wow. That went well. Did you see that? Did you? Oh, she kissed him. On the mouth and everything. Of all the things that have touched my lips, the thought of someone else has never even occurred to me. I'm repelled, and yet oddly intrigued. But I'm 13 months, three weeks, and five days older than Tommy, and no girl's ever planted one on me. It's never gonna happen for me, Phil. No girl's ever gonna want to kiss me. You don't know that. This is a big country. I'm sure somewhere out there, there's a girl who won't find you freakishly repulsive. You think? Feast your sockets on the iTex American Cruise Deluxe. Dude, what happened to the other one we saw yesterday? That one looked way better. What happened to it? Sold out. Besides, I got twice the size for half the price. I don't like the sound of this. Well, let's just see how the interior looks. Come on in! Oh, and don't worry about that moldy bathing suit smell. Uh, Chill air out! Um, well, it is roomy. Ugh, no kidding. This smells like a locker in the school Sam goes to. It freaking stinks! Luckily, though, oh, God, this doesn't smell like other places. What other places? Jersey Mike's? Nope. Worse. The beach. The beach? Um, I think we have much more places that smells worse. For example, Jersey Mike's. Yeah, it, it'll still be fun. <laughs> Gosh, I hope so, or else all of you owe me. Actually, not, 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 not you guys, just the parents. Guys, did you see this? I am crud? What the? <laughs> you son of a bozo! Whew. I smell it now. It stinks. Yeah, no kidding, dude. It's, it smells bad. Real bad. Although, guys, get, get up, get up, Jerry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Guys, I'm gonna bright side. At least it's an ice cream truck. You know what that means? Unlimited ice cream. Yeah, but the thing is, we are gathering moms, which means they're always restricted on crap. Oh, yeah, that. Well, I just hope this road trip goes real well, or else they really do owe me. Ah, no worries. I told them the same thing. Oh, you did? Yep. Well, 
Let's just get this over with, shall we? We must shall. But first, can someone get that popsicle up in the roof? I can. This could be our last great bonding experience with the kids, Betty. I don't want to miss one natural wonder or cultural highlight. Oh, just as long as we make good time, we got a whole country to cross in five days. My, that is a lot of driving. That's why I brought along my own personal blend of beans. I call it Betty Blast. Got the little slugs in this. Ooh, and I'm good to go. Oh, Betty, I'm not feeling so good. I think it was the burrito we had for lunch. Ugh. Nonsense. You always find the best roadside chow at diner slash car washes. <laughs> what a spectacular view. I know. How can this get any better? Well, unless if you're low, all the way back there just bouncing a ball. What? Lil, are you gonna dribble that ball all the way to New York City? Mm-hmm. 87. I'm going for the Book of World Records. All I have to do is keep this ball off the ground, and Alvin Fremont's 1998 Sydney to Melbourne's record is dust! Oh, that sounds like a big boy goal. War. I wish we had that RV with a plasma screen and 600 channels of satellite TV. The moms wouldn't let us watch it anyway. Remember the Lipschitz rule. No electronic devices, no cell phones, computer games, nothing but long stretches of open road to numb our minds. When I was a little tiger, I thought there was one kind of cheese. Oh, cheese, 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 cheese. Boy, are you guys sticks in the mud. This trip's gonna be epic. You wanna know why? Because this is the Southwest, my friend. Home of UFO crashes, nuclear test sites, frozen alien bodies hidden in government hangars, along with all my missing socks. We are talking the freaky capital of the freaky world, and I say, look, Bigfoot. Nix that, just a really hairy guy with a shirt off. Dill's right. I'm getting down on this trip before we've even started. Hey, look what I pulled off the net. The 100 most upchuckingest thrill rides in America? Ooh, that better be Great America. You know, Jago, can I ask you something? Yeah. I wonder how everything is gonna look in the future. Is it gonna look bland? Or it's like how we visioned it? Meet George Jetson. Here's boy Elroy. Daughter Judy. Jane, his wife. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. I took this one out for you. You take this one, I keep this. You are not taking my whole wallet so you can go shopping. I was just gonna buy some groceries. Bull crap. And we'll be passing at least half of them. Ah! Okay, everybody, first stop. What is it, Mom? Queasy canyons? Whiplash willows? Even better. Welcome to Clifford, California, onion capital of the West. The onion was first brought here by Clavener Maxwell in 1846 from the Canary Islands. Oh. It's the onions, right? No, <gasps> I'm just born to tears. Oh, I don't think I can take more of this. Me neither. I'm out of here. Yep. Come on, come on, Tom. We're leaving. We're leaving. On my way. Now follow me, and we'll be entering our gift shop. Well, we were just about to leave anyways. Tom! I'm coming, jeez! <laughs> Watch the Finster Magic at work. 
Hi. Hi. Have you been eating onions? Ow. Okay, everybody, photo op. One. Hey, look. Two. A flat lizard. Three. Welcome to the world's widest Christmas tree. well uh jacob huh look what i found and the you know the club over there we saw earlier oh you we, we passed it why check it out i saw the interior you gotta see it for yourself i'll get the others whoa what the where are we whoa i've never seen the inside of this before up close this is dope Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Oh, wow! Ooh, I've never seen a place like this before. Huh. You tell me, dude. You tell me. Hey! That's our instructor! Hey, mister! Hey, fool! What's going on, fool? Uh, what's going on here? Welcome to the Rap Straighty Kid Club! The, the what? I'll say it slowly. The Rap City Kids Club! Oh, I hope you aren't talking about that awful Christmas special, Nostalgia Critic Review. No, 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 not there. Not there, fool. This is an actual rap city, man. But you guys, since you're all newcomers, you gotta show us how you guys can rap. Whoa, 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 you mean we gotta rap for you guys? Okay, that's illegal. No, it's not. You're just making that up. Uh, I don't know about that, guys. Mm, see about that, fool. Yo, Shaggy, like, what's up, man? Play some, some music, man. Play music. Like, you got it. We're, you guys gotta show us you got it. Rap skills are gonna be here. Oh. Oh, dear. Uh, I got a lot of thinking about. Yeah, you do. I guess if we're gonna get out of here alive, well, we gotta rap. You tell me. Well. Hey. What is it, man? I'm... In. All right, then welcome these fools in. All right, guys, follow my lead. Hey, right, give this a shot. Oh, hello, everybody. Yes, it's us. It's pretty true. We're back, and we're gonna have some fun with you. Join the party in the future with us. Ultra body grow. Tommy, Jackie, the and Lou, and Kimmy, too. We're all grown up. We're all grown up! Man, these fools don't have that big! It'll be fine! What could possibly go wrong? We can rock it to the future, we can rock it to the moon We can work at Jupiter, a lane, or maybe a Starbucks We just met a bad guy, we just met a girl If we need anything, we just call Lil and then we're done Our house is in the heaven, the freeways in the skies But a theater on the ground, and let's just say Lil's a cutie, you know guys Jacob likes to do things, man, and likes to cook, time traveling, and Jerry's got gaming to do. We're all grown up. You <laughs> like you better believe we're all grown up. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Huh. Actually, it did feel pretty good. Uh, guys, I think we forgot about the others. Oh. We gotta go. Thanks. Is anyone gonna leave me change? It's official. This trip is a bust. Four hours in the Museum of Mayonnaise? When do we get to do what we wanna do? Nick skin, paws and tails, swirl bones. What is that? That's my collection. I'm so bored of exploring my interest as a budding naturalist. Or chef. Ugh. What is it with moms anyway? Why do they have to be all over us all the time? Yeah, what's with all these photographs? And the don't touch anything's. 
And why are they always coming at you with their spit? On your face, in your hair. I'd get grounded for spitting on someone's hair. When's my mom gonna realize I'm grown up? I don't know. I kinda like it when mom wipes my face with a saliva soaked tissue. It's like a warm, wet eye. I was over at the bathrooms, and guess who I found digging in the garbage? Hey, I was here the whole time. <laughs> I went to every campsite, and no one knew him. He must be abandoned. The mom said you could keep him? No way. So I figure I'll sneak him in. Come on, pumpkin. That's what you're gonna name him? Why not Scooby, Dino, Dynamite, or... My, my Marmaduke, does anyone even talk about Marmaduke nowadays? Uh, apparently not. Well, one good thing. We're out here in the fresh air and not stuck in the crud meter. Yep. You said it. You bet. Take a life pill. You take pills? I'm just that. Come on, dude. That's just a joke. Oh. Well, although we do got to get back inside. We got a long day tomorrow. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, another long one. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I sure hope it's gonna be better than last time. Now that we have a dog. <laughs> Gooey Scooby Snack! Yum, 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 yum. Ah! My collection! Because of this morning's dog mishap, we're a little behind schedule. So I've mapped out a tour of the most amazing natural wonders you'll ever see. You'll have precisely six minutes at each stop from yeah. taking off without you. Why can't we just go somewhere fun for us? Yeah, like Great America. We're not even near Great America. We're in freaking... Actually, I don't even know where we are. Well, the good news is, at least we're getting out of the car. It still stinks like Jersey Mike's in here. But you tell me! Well, that's just up. It'll be dope. Oh. That's a lot better. Yeah, not bad. I like how he's wearing a show uniform. So much for the Grand Canyon. This is the Bugs Bunny God World. What? I'm sorry, that does not make sense at all. My bad. It's cool. Ah, oh, Grand Canyon. You know, Tommy, it takes four billion years for Mother Nature to make a rock tower like that. And you're gonna make me stand here and watch her make it, aren't you? Kimmy, can you try to control that stinky little mongrel? Uh, uh. It's not my fault. If Phil didn't carry around his bag of death. <laughs> Whoa! I love this movie! Movie? Dee Dee? I thought the kids weren't supposed to zone out on this trip. Tommy! I downloaded a DVD. I needed something to get my mind off leaving Rachel. And the Grand Canyon wouldn't do it? Do it, do it, do it. Not like Revenge of the Crypt Comer 5. <laughs> a nice work, Betty. From now on, I pick the lunch spots. Oh, well, look who's getting all lotted off, fancy girl. Um, okay, okay, okay. Guys, 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 excuse me. Maybe I should make the lunch choice. How about later on midnight after day, we go ahead and get some Subway or Pizza Hut? A your choice. No, seriously, your choice. Excuse me, but have you all forgotten what this trip is for? To make you even more insufferably perfect than you are? And to promote the good work of America's hard-working cheese producers. 
and it was about us moms getting closer to you guys. Well, I'm sick of getting close. I'm sick of being told what to do. And I'm sick of having a mom. <gasps> oh, you've done it now, Tommy. Oh, uh, Tom, what you do? Not our Tom, their Tom. Oh, boy. Maybe we should be going. What you said to Mom, T, about not needing her? Harsh. Yeah, well, wait till you're older. You'll understand. I will never understand not loving my mommy. Hey, you guys going to see the Curtain of Tears tonight? I'm trying to catch a ride. Curtain of Tears? What's that? Oh, man. You never heard of it? Story is, this Indian princess, Sowanami, ditched out on some bogus dude her dad wanted her to marry. So her tribe left her behind to starve to death on these red rocks not too far from here. Whoa, talk about harsh. They say she cried so many tears, a geyser was made on that spot. Every year at midnight it blows and you can see the princess rise in the mist and hear her screams echoing in the rocks. Wow, righteous. Guys, did you hear that? A genuine apparitional sighting with water feature. Finally, something we want to do. Our moms aren't going to let us go out in the desert alone at midnight. Oh, yeah. We might touch something. We could always sneak out after they've gone to sleep. Sneak out? What for? To see a real live dead Indian princess out in the desert. Sounds epic. But I don't know if it's such a good idea. I gotta sing in New York in four days, and I don't even have my song down yet. Oh, maybe Susie's right. We don't even know how to get there. Better bag it. Kids! Oh, dear. Okay, what do you want now? We want to apologize to you kids. We haven't been listening to what you guys want to do. So tonight, we're going to a real Southwestern fiesta. Fiesta de los Ojos Rojo! Aha! Uh -huh. Show me how it's done! Mom, stop it! Venga, 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 preciosa! It. We have to get away from our moms. Tom! Tom! There you are. Where were you, man? I've been kind of worried. I can't take it, Jacob. Two days without a Nintendo Switch, and we have to be the objects while the others are having a really bad road trip. I can't do this anymore, man. I'm leaving. You can't leave, dude. We promise, Mrs. Pickles. You're right. I'm losing control. I must be having the worst day of my life. I gotta get out of this nonsense. Well, I think I might know one thing. I heard we're gonna be sneaking out. To, well, in the woods. The woods? You mean, ah, you mean us potatoes? Oh, not just us. The others as well. Oh, you mean those eight kids? Uh, yep. And after they're done with that and they go back inside their RV, it's our turn to have fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the others about this. We're sneaking out. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Kids get back in the RV. We out. Yep. All right. All right. I'll be out in a sec. Okay. All right. You guys remember the plan? Yes, we do. Jacob just told us. Perfect. Uh, hurry up, dude. Hurry. Oh. Oh. Just. Uh. Guys. 
We free. We free? Yeah! <laughs> Finally, dude. Nice. Peace for life. All right, let's get on to that weird thing that we're gonna talk about. I never felt so alive. Ah, save the energy for later, Manny. Yep, because after this, we are out of this trip. Then yeah, hopefully we'll never come back. And yeah, we'll come back eventually. I guess we are out of our minds. Wait, how many did that happen? Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy. I shouldn't be doing this. The entire cheese industry is counting on me. Yeah, I'm sure whole economies will collapse if you don't sing perfectly about sour milk. So that must be the place over there. Wow. It looks less small than expected. But well, who knows? Try not to be a big surprise. Ah. <sighs> Would you looky here? No traffic. Hell. Time to rack up some miles. Uh oh! 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 Ouch! Ooh, that hurt! 9,625! 26! 27! 18! Meet the Rogers! Hi! 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 They were cloned and abducted by aliens! This place rocks! When I was a little tight, I thought there was one kind of cheese. Yellow, waxy, wrapped in plastic, Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. The cheese goes marching on. Angelica. <sighs> Great night tonight. Yeah, what can possibly go wrong? Exactly. Well, despite all the craziness that's going on, we can still have fun. Yeah! Agved, you see this, my cuspid? They had to scrape the gub three times before it was right. Which headgear do they give you? The G-Force Twister or the Mandible Mangler? Mandible Mangler. Oh, me too. Nice night. Yeah! Bite on my cheek. I gotta say, that was pretty dope. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Now remember, when those kids get back to the RV, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, and by the way, is it is it just me or there's something missing right now? The uh, RV. Uh, oh no, it's gone. <gasps> oh, I don't get it. The RV was right here. My mom went to fill up the tank. Well, I can't believe our plan actually backfired. Wow. And I thought everything else backfired for me. This is for real. Well, uh, what are we going to do? All right, guys, don't panic. Okay, hold on. Everybody, don't panic. We'll just go see what Mr. Ranger has to say. Let's just all go to Mr. Ranger's office to see what they got in plan for us. That's not a bad idea, Jacob. And that's why I'm the leader, idiot. A uh, hundred cups of blast on the wall, a hundred cups of blast. Rise and shine, buttercup! Well, where are we? Brunswick, Missouri. Not the home of the world's largest pecan! Yep, while well, you lazy heads were sans Z's, I covered almost 600 miles. And you know what? I could do another thousand. Wakey, wakey! Time for cakey! <laughs> oh! How's my driving? We in Missouri yet? 
Yes, but our kids are back in New Mexico. Dee Dee, man to man. Lucy, grab me up a cup of joe. We're turning this baby around. Sorry, Susie. I know you worked really hard to sing in this parade. Don't sweat it, Tommy. We still got three days to get to New York. I'm not worried. Thought you kids might be hungry. I'm Ranger Walking Wind Little Feather, but you can call me Klaus. Uh, 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 good day, Mr. Ranger, sir. I hope Yogi Bear isn't stealing any picnic baskets from you lately. Ah, uh, Jacob, that is not the Ranger you're looking for. That must mean I've been to the wrong one. You know where our moms are? I got my guys out looking for the RV. Won't be hard to find something that butt ugly. Chucky, get off me! <laughs> what was that? Ranger Walking Wind... Uh... Klaus here. Yes, they're right here. Mom? Tommy? Oh, thank heavens, you're all right! I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, Mom. Where are you? They're in Brunswick, Missouri! Home of the world's largest pecan? Oh, when are you coming back for us? A couple of days? <gasps> we'll never make it to New York in time for the parade! Oh, wow. Sorry, Susie. Oh, boy. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Klaus. Is there a way to get to, you know, where we need to be? I'll take you over to stay with my family. I'm heading up to Raton for a big intertribal meeting. Hold on, Mom. Is Raton anywhere near where our moms are? It's in the right direction, but you'd still have hundreds of miles. Can we go with you? We've got to get Susie to New York to sing on the cheese float in the Gracie's Day Parade. Susie, 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 what will it take to kill this can-do attitude of yours? I can get you as far oh. as Denver. Mom? I heard, and we're sorry, but we can't let you travel hundreds of miles alone. You've got to. I can't let Susie down. I can handle this. No worries, Miss Pickles. We'll take care of them. Thanks. What I tell ya? Yes! Go, Tommy! You're gonna make it, Susie. You have that credit card number your mom gave you to buy our tickets to Missouri? Here it is. As good as money, my man. Rockies that'll get you to Denver. So, here. What are those? Snowsuits. All the roads to Denver are snowed in. You're going by dog sled. Oh, no.
beginning to think letting the kids travel hundreds of miles alone wasn't such a hot idea. Me too. My Angelica may seem tough, but she's just a scared little girl with an inflated sense of self-entitlement. What do you think, Dee Dee? I think Tommy was right and Lipschitz was wrong. Sometimes you've got to give your kids space. If we did our job right, we've raised bright, capable children. What do you mean you've lost the credit card number? How are we gonna get to Minnesota? Missouri. Whatever M state our moms are in. The paper must have flown out of my pocket when we were sledding. Not to worry, guys. Tom's on his way with his own plane. He borrowed it from someone else. <coughs> Couldn't find the brakes. <sighs> Tom, what's going on? Where's the plane? Bad news, guys. It lost control. So, you don't mean? Yes, it crashed bandicoot it. Oh, come on, that was the only way. Sorry, man, don't mind me. It's the plane's fault. Well, that's one problem down. The other problem is, how in the name of hot dog and bread are we gonna deal with that situation behind us? Huh? 10,463. No! Sorry! Break! Um... A word. Oh... Dear. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright. Listen, Lil. I know this soccer thing of yours is gonna be important, but you gotta also remember. You gotta spend time with us. Especially me! So, by any means, you gotta stop kicking the ball! Well, well, well. Uh, what the? Look who we have here. Yeah. Looks like we got a few stolerays, am I right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I've seen this before. Nice going, Lil. You owe me now. First time on the call, right? Uh, I, I guess, yeah. And instead of being friends, you're both fighting like a cat and mouse. Well, she didn't even say a word, I know. But you gotta be friends or ain't gonna make it out of here. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Steve's the name. And, oh boy, I got a lot to fill in my life. <laughs> and what he means that before he met me, well, let's just say he lived in various video game consoles. Xbox, PlayStation, Microsoft, PC, Nintendo Switch, you name it. I've been on the street two years now. Apparently, my wife abandoned me as soon as I was playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on a Nintendo Switch. The name is Miguel. What's yours? I'm Tom, and this girl right here next to me is Lil, a.k.a. the girl who can't stop kicking the ball up and down. Uh, 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 uh. I told you before, you two just gotta be friends. That's correct, Amando. Me and Miguel has been through a lot lately. You gotta fight to survive. You gotta work together. You gotta, oh, I was just gonna say you gotta persevere together, but he, he means the same thing. You know, Miguel's right, though. Listen. Oh, by the way, hope you won't mind, but we're actually gonna change your side real quick. Wait, what, what do you mean? What the, what happened? Where's the mask? You didn't tell us about a song number! Oh. We two were friends to the end. Hey, we my friend. We kinda blend together. Coffee and cream. Boy, what it be. You'll never find the water guys compatible with steak and fries. We're still one of a kind. Much above fine. We find a way together. Thinking of one, searching for sunny skies. To the summer, turn to rain. We don't mind a drop of rain, but you won't hear us complain. Does it help to stop the rain? What's the gain if we can play? Cause it lots to stress and strain. We get smiling in the pit of pattern. Does it matter? Why let it drive us insane? We know what weather will make. Only my friend will rather life together. So what the heck? 
just what we recommend. Listen up here. The greatest gift in life's a friend has to be is a very different time. <laughs> He let us and start a trend. Three friends to the end. Ah, right, let's do it one more time. The greatest gift in life's a friend. Here we go. He's a daily event. <laughs> he let us and start a trend. Three friends to the end. All right, guys, now it's your turn. No, give no, me no, a shot. No, no, Come no, on. No, no, Here we go. Hell no, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Let's do it. We two were friends to the end. Ain't we my friend? We kinda blend together Coffee and cream Boy, what a team! You'll, You'll never, never find, find the other guys, guys compatible, compatible A steak and fries were two of a kind Much of a mind We find our way together Thinking as one Searching for sunny skies Sure that summer turns to rain We don't mind a drop of rain But you won't hear us complain It doesn't help to stop the rain What's the gain if we complain? Because there's lots of stress and strain We can He's smile in, in a pitter Pattern, doesn't matter What it is rather than say We know the weather woman Born and my friend We'll weather like together what the heck? This is what we recommend. The greatest gift in life is a friend. He's a daily table dance. Be like us and start a trend. Be friends to me. Again, again, take it away. The greatest gift in life is a friend. He's a daily table dance. Be like us and start a trend We're, We're friends to the end, end. <laughs> Hey, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! Oh, that's better! Oh, hello, Red Mask! Well, did that teach you guys anything? Well, I will admit, that was kind of cool, but... Eh, that's for you, Lil. Um, maybe... Try to kick the ball at least further distance, like coronavirus in a nutshell. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Eh. Well, can't say I warn you guys. Isn't that true, Steve? Eh. Guess well, see you around, I guess. Uh, B Miguel, wait! You owe me big time. Come on, guys. We can do this. You want to prove to our parents we're grown up, don't you? No. Right now, I'd be happy having Mom gently chuck me under the chin and tell me everything's okay. Look, I picked up a map. Now, we're here. In that state shaped like a board game box? Yes, and our moms are here. In the state that kind of looks like a shoe? Yes, all we have to do is figure out how to get across that big, flat state between them. Don't they teach you kids geography anymore? I have a simpler answer. Give up. We have no money, no cell phone, and our moms are hundreds of miles from here. Face it, Susie's shot at the big time is history. No, I'm not giving up! I have an idea. <laughs> Looks like we're not in Kansas anymore. Nope, that's Kansas. Look. Wowzer! This is a tough one. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Tom! There you are. Where were you, dude? Ugh. Long story, guys. Long story. I'm sure. We've been gone for almost an hour. Actually, I can't even count. Of course you can't. No, well, he's right, he's right, he's right. No, Manny's right. I have almost been gone for an hour. And my god, that was terrible! I found a guy who said he can take us to the next town. 
We can call our moms from there, get the credit card number, and arrange a ride. Ugh, sounds like a plan. Oh. Wake me up when we get there, okay? Actually, we can't. We won't be here. What? So, let me get this straight. You have no phones? No. No faxes? No. Not even electricity? What? Are these people living in the 1800s? Yes, they're Amish. They don't believe in modern things. Even blow dryers? No. What kind of nightmare is this? Y'all booger taint. Ja, mother took a ride in the car to Brunswick. Brunswick? Big pecan. Plus, in the black apron dress, make bed to the barn? Ja, after you throw some cows over the fence, some hay. You understood all that? Ja, don't be shushly. Congratulations, you bozos. This place officially sucks. Achievement unlocked. Oh. Hey, that's not what I meant, but... Well, it'll do. <laughs> Mom! And I'm sick of having a mom! Bye, Mom! Tommy! Hey, T! Open the lights! Good morning, everybody. How's about I whip up some breakfast? Am I right? Yay! Then why are you guys sitting around for? Let's go. Now, be right back, guys. I'm gonna get something for the ball. Just sit tight and talk for a while. All right, let's see what we got. Chef Boyardee, beefaroni, or ravioli? Oh. Hmm. Both? Beefaroni? Perfect. Never underestimate Squidward's god food. I won't, guess I won't need this anymore. And now I just gotta put this in the microwave. Maybe I could have whipped out some eggs. Penny! <sighs> You whack! Eggs are generic! Uh, this is gonna take a while for sure though. Perfect! What'd I tell ya? Uh, Alright! Let's get it in! Oh, the bowl is pretty hot though. Alright, there you go. Here's our napkins. Enjoy what less, people. We got a long day ahead of us. What the? Ooh, ooh. Looks like we got company. Am I right? Actually, I am right. Guys, I got us a ride to Brunswick, Missouri. Ja, big pecan. I guess this thing doesn't have overdrive. Wouldn't be plain. So, uh, Esther, is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be sitting back here. <laughs> you said you'd do it and you did, Tommy. Thanks. Check it out! Genuine Amish roadkill. All right. What the? What's going on? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Bill, it wants your backpack. Yikes! We gotta do something. Let's get him! 
That's why he's always been bothering Tom. I mean, Phil for a while. Ooh. Well, guys, enough to the chatter. We got to continue in our faithful journey here, or else we ain't gonna make it. Everyone, let's continue on. And by the way, nothing could get worse than this, right? Me and my big mouth. Uh, it's kind of chilly out here. You don't say. You don't say. Guy with the beard made it sound so easy. Does anybody have any idea where we are? We're right here on Route 66 North. Or 99 South. Two words. Homeschooling. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm ugly. I wonder what our moms are doing right now. Probably worrying about us. Oh, Tom, you have done it now. Me? What have I done? Oh, not you. I mean, their Tom. Oh, at least next time be more specific, because I got a little worried. <laughs> I bet if my mom was here, she'd have something to eat. They always have something to eat when you're hungry. Or a sweatshirt if you're cold. It's the purses. Moms are like pack mules of love. You guys ever catch your mom sneaking into your room at night just to watch you sleep? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's creepy, but like in a good way. You guys ever think what it'd be like not having a mom? Been there, done that. I'm sorry, guys. This mess is all my fault. I wanted to prove something, and now we'll never get Susie to the Gracie's Day Parade on time. It couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Oh, come on! I want my money! <laughs> so, here we are again. We've been through so much together. Am I right? Now you understand why we're all acting like a bunch of babies. Well, <laughs> unless you've rust the tail splits. Wanna know how it ends? Yeah, me too, you guys. You preteens are pathetic! I want my movies! Credit card! <laughs> well, this has gone well for a million years. Yeah, I can't believe we failed it. Yeah, I can't believe it as well. And all those kids back us are acting like a bunch of babies. Yeah, uh-huh, you said it! <sighs> Why can't things get better for once? First the coronavirus pandemic, then Donald Trump getting coronavirus, now this! Jeez, can anything get much worse? Why can't something get better for once? Yeah! Hold on guys, I think I hear something. Wait. Wait guys, I think I hear something! What is it? <gasps> huh? What the? Look! It's them! Oh, nice! Hold the horn! Hold the horn! Hold the horn! Oh, Mom, I missed you! Mwah. Tommy, I'm so proud of you! Look how far you came! Huh, no big D. And... In addition to that, we were with them, and we always protect them, and friends to the end. Exactly. Wait, what? Sorry, it's a little nutty, believe it or not. Oh, I got you. Okay, 
everyone. We still got four states to cover if we're gonna get Susie to the parade on time. Hold on, everybody! We're on Benny time now! <laughs> pumpkin! Look out for Pumpkin! Is everyone okay? You sure? Okay. Yeah. They can't get anyone out here till tonight, being the day before Thanksgiving. It just doesn't look like we'll make it in time. I'm sorry, honey. Maybe you can get in the parade next year. But we worked so hard to get here. We get so close. I memorized 357 kinds of cheeses! Hey, now that's a lot of cheese. Even for you. <laughs> what are you people, quitters? I didn't ride dog sleds, balloons, and live without a blow dryer for three days to give up now. <laughs> we need to get to New York, and you are gonna get us there. Oh. Wow. That was fast. Yeah. Not too fast. Well, okay. Mind if I... Uh, uh. Everyone, listen up! Even you, Suze, listen up. Everybody. Now, I know we all came this far to actually make it to the parade. But this is different. We're just about there. We're almost there. We ain't giving up today. We're gonna make it to New York. For Suzy's parade, we're gonna do it. She's our friend. And we'll do anything for her. Because if she does this for us, now it's our turn. So let's all get inside here in this Ecto-1. And let's go to New York! Jeez, when did you get so inspirational? I have no idea. I just had that in my mind. Gee, that felt good. Alright, guys. You heard, Tom. Let's go! Dude, I'm surprised of you. Yeah, I'm surprised myself. <laughs> oh, you can never go wrong with an awesome conversation. Yeah. <laughs> that sure was nice of you, wasn't it? Everything you did to get here, especially riding in an onion truck for 14 hours, the parade committee wanted to reward you with special luxury sweets on us. Sweet! All right, nice. <laughs> wanted to say thank you. You didn't have to do what you did, and, well, it was amazingly out of character. Well, I can top it. You're welcome. One question. Why? Because I know that if I ever got a chance to sing some cheesy song on national television for hundreds of millions of people around the world, I'd want you to have my back. Hundreds of millions? Huh. <laughs> And somehow, that made it all worthwhile. Ah, <sighs> this is the life, eh guys? Yeah, uh-huh, you said it. Just drinking some Coca-Cola, not minding any other businesses. Oh, oh, uh, except for his. Sylvester? Is that you, Sylvester? So 
Well, it's a pretty nutty story. Well, <laughs> it turns out we went on a road trip. Only except, unlike any other road trip stuff. Yeah, parents are bad at us. After we, uh, snuck out or something. Oh. I see you had the same thing, too. Same thing? You mean you actually took an RV or an ice cream truck on the way here? Not really. Well, similar, except I took a taxi. A taxi? We got a taxi out the whole time? There was no taxis around us. Oh. Well, that was super critic. Anyway, Sylvester, uh, can you at least do something for us, Potatoes? Yeah, sure, what's up? Can you hold one of our friends on your hand like it's the king or the queen? You want me to do what? Well, you're not getting the big picture, Sly. It's her big day. Today, one of our friends, Susie, is going to be in the cheese float. And, well, we came this far with lots of troubles. You have to do this for her. She needs this moment. Oh, it's our big part. I'll see what I can do. Actually, I forgot a plan. I can't believe the entire United States at our feet. You couldn't get one girl to kiss you. Oh, don't feel so bad, Phil. I've decided it's not that important. I mean, after all the exciting stuff we've done the last couple of days, kissing a girl just doesn't seem like that big a deal anymore. Or in a can you can squeeze Then one day my mama slipped me some domestic mozzarella And all at once I knew There's more cheese than American cheese in America There's provolone, mascarpone, blue and brick and brie Seventeen cheddars from mild to sharp and a feta from Mississippi Maytag blues from Iowa, Monterey Jack's out west But if you like your cheese, I'm molding and green New Jersey gorgonzola is the best the Italians call it formaggio, and France they say formage. But give me ricotta from Duluth, Minnesota, and all the rest is garbage. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking that plastic yellow stuff. But there's just more cheese than American cheese in the country that I love. It was definitely worth the try. I guess we starting is the key. Am I right? You can play it out again. Whenever it is we started from the beginning, um, your life dreams go, or just spending time with your family, or just kicking a playing ball, or just do whatever. You gotta know how to work together! <laughs> hey guys, let's get out of here! I'm with ya! Hey, don't forget me! Don't forget me! Yeah, excuse me! Excuse me! me.
The streets are filled with Christmas cheer At least it's only once a year Perfect parcels tied with perfect bows And carols ringing in my ear Bundled up against the cold Lines wherever gifts are sold Each shop window displays a Christmas scene For everybody young and old Icicles on eaves troughs and tinsel on the tree But it's a green Christmas for me Couple skating on the pond Making angels on the lawn Five red mittens drying on the rat And needle shedding tan and bomb Red bows on the railings and snowflakes on the ground But it's a green Christmas in this town Christmas wish There would be no greater gift Than to have this envy lift Carolers are at my door Don't want to hear them anymore on the mantle, it snows here every day, but it's a green Christmas anyway. Red nose on the reindeer, tinsel on the tree, but it's a green Christmas for me.